Hey, hey, beautiful Capricorns. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, I welcome you. Thank you, Capricorn, for your beautiful comments and your likes and your subscribes. I do appreciate it, guys. Let's find out what's going on for Capricorn. Capricorn messages, please, Spirit. Capricorn, please, Spirit. Wealth. First card out. Wealth. How do you like that one? What about Capricorn? What's going on here for Capricorn? Pretty good start when the first card out is wealth. Oh, forgiveness. Love. The butterfly. Beauty transformation. What is this wealth, forgiveness, love, and the beauty? Someone seeing you as a beautiful butterfly. Now this could be self-love, and this could be finding your inner beauty, but there is wealth here. Very rich, very nourishing. Wealth is wealth, guys. Transformation, I knew that. Trusting your psychic gifts. Okay, Capricorn. Something has been a heavy burden. But you're letting go of this. You have divine protection here. Just be gentle and diplomatic, Capricorns. <laughs> Spirit is telling you to be gentle and be diplomatic. Luck, industriousness, and a sweet victory. You're busy as a bee. It's a good omen for you. Hmm. You're very independent and learning to set healthy boundaries. And something to do with perception. Seeing things from a different perspective. You are highly intuitive. You're coming out as the high priestess with discernment, discernment prophecies and visions something is about to be birthed or rebirthed mm -hmm. thoughts words intellectual analysis this could be you rebirthing there's been some sort of tower that's been a, a burden huh there's the spider mm-hmm Somebody weaving a, we a web here, guys. But there is hit a brick wall. Whatever tricks, whatever deception, whatever entanglement somebody was trying to get you entangled into, they've been restricted. They've hit a brick wall. Because you're sitting here with spirit, with integrity, and you have connection to the angelic realm. Wow. You might be in a position where you uh, accept help from another and delegate authority. Mm, there you are. Standing in your power, your strength of this dragon. Mm -hmm. Very wise. Can sense deception around you, whatever it is. You're going to have a lot of something to be joyful about. Let's see what this is for Capricorn. Blessings. Rainbow blessings, guys. Blessings are showering your life. And if they are not yet, you can imagine that they're going to be. Stay focused. Hold the course. The Spirit saying just hold the course. Huh. 
Follow your bliss. Navigate by the stars and follow your bliss. Choose your path. All is possible. Grounding. Go deep. Explore your roots. Capricorn. Uh -huh. Enjoy the journey. That's what we're here to do. Just enjoy the blessings. Enjoy the journey. Stay the course, Spirit saying. Get the big picture. There's that perspective card. Get a view from above. Get the big picture. You're protected by the angels. You're cherished by the angels. Well, you're stepping into your power. You're strong beyond measure. Finding sanctuary. Open to your spiritual source. Let's see what is going on here for Capricorn. Sounds good to me. Wealth, forgiveness, love, beauty, transformation. Whatever sneaky stuff has been set up against you, they've hit a brick wall. Because you are protected by the angels. You are cherished by the angels. So step into your power. See the big picture. Get a higher perspective. It is your ten of cups and your happiness. And co-creating. This is working. This is career. This could be wealth. This is whatever this wealth is to you. This could be love. You're working on your Ten of Cups, your happiness, and you're working hard for it. And you could be co-creating with others. This could be in career or business. This is also could be you co-creating with your angels or the universe. Whatever it is, follow your bliss. Spirit is saying you're going to be happy. Just hold the course. There has been some uh separation or breakup or something that you felt you know it ripped your heart out or you might just need to take a darn break and rest and recharge your batteries you're in, you're having some good news what it, now this is either strategy or whatever deception was around you has been revealed you're entering a lighter period of time now this is either getting together with friends or this was a third party situation or this is reconciliation Whatever it is, you're inspired and you are on fire. And now this is this, uh, yes. Capricorn being stable, grounded, financially well off. You're inspired to work on something. You could be working on a project or working on something that makes you really happy. It's really got you inspired. You could be uh, co-creating here. Ooh. It is to do with work. You're rushing into it. It's like, hell yeah, let me at it here. Let me work on this. And you're holding it close to your chest here. There has been some sadness here, I gotta say. To do with the past. But you're moving out of that energy. Slowly you're getting there. But this Knight of Pentacles always gets to the finish line. Seeing a truth, there is a divine union here. It's taking forever, taking things slow perhaps. It is a couple. It is a divine union. A lot of stress, sleepless nights, worry. Maybe some of, there was harsh communications or something like that. Or like thinking more logically or analytically. But this is... I don't know if 
this is equal reciprocity or someone felt that they were giving too much someone taking I don't know but I do know there's going to be communication and there you are there has been a tower but there is going to be well this might come as a shock to you as well but you're going to trust your intuition here and set boundaries it's about setting boundaries, standing up for yourself. Hmm. Getting some kind of enlightenment here. There is love, there is emotion here. But this is also being... Uh, some sort of enlightenment. Something is changing. And it could have left you feeling like deceived or something. Oh, now this is a judgment making a decision. There could have been some painful ending that you went through or feeling like you were betrayed somehow or someone around you betrayed you, but someone is taking action. Hmm. It's like stalemated, like feeling someone's gotten some enlightenment. It's like feeling in limbo. Self-imposed prison. It's like You're a leader, and it's like, it's a self-imposed thoughts. It's a thought process. Being, feeling like you can't make a move, but you can. Hmm. It's an offer here for like, it could be something simple like going for coffee. <laughs> Imagine me saying that. <laughs> well, maybe maybe you're going for a little bit more. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> There's a, a cycle you've been through. Now, it could be at a distance, too. But this is destined. This is a stardom. This is being in the spotlight. I don't know what this is, but you're getting a lot of attention and recognition. High honors or accolades. It's destiny. Or feeling like you just want to hang on to that star and follow the, your destiny. Well, it's going to make you very happy if you do. Because somebody was too indecisive. It's like feeling at a crossroads or refusing to see something. And it could have been about a connection or a family situation or, um, yeah, something that, a commitment perhaps. And it's like someone chose to walk away. There could have been manipulation, but you're manifesting your wish fulfillment. You're like, it's out there. I'm going to get it. I'm doing this boss move. It's mine. I'm going for it. There's been a lot of conflict, mental conflict. It could be jealousy. It could be just feeling mentally conflicted. What do I do here? Mm. It's laying down these burdens. There's a soulmate connection and you are on fire. There has been a heartbreak, but you've received some sort of epiphany moment, like an aha moment that has triggered you. It's also that somebody could be like of watching you or observing you. Hmm. There's been some hurt here, but you're building on a solid foundation. You're celebrating. You have justice here. Well, something was unjust. And it's like, there could be fear here. 
of investing or fear or what do I do? What do I choose? Well, it looks like you're choosing to invest in you and move forward. <laughs> and it's like something like um, a bunch of fighting or arguing or feeling conflicted or going through conflict, 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 war after war. And it's like enough already. It's like you're taking back your power. Ooh, what's this? Sweeping somebody off your feet. Somebody wants to sweep you off your feet and invest. What is this? Sees you as the empress. Wants to offer you. You're stable. You're grounded. You're nurturing. You're giving birth to a bunch of money. M-O-N-E-Y, money, wealth, wealth. There is love here. I don't know, you might reject this offer because things didn't end so well. But somebody is missing you and they love you and the temperance angel is here saying that they're coming toward you. They think you are their lover and they're in love. They are lonely and see you vibing high. They see you as some pretty hot stuff leader here. Someone who takes charge, someone who is a leader. You guys, this is a divine union. We have King and Queen of Wands. That's a lot of passion, a lot of get up and go, people who are not afraid to take leadership. <laughs> it's a divine union. Yes, it is. We have king and queen of uh, swords, king and queen of cups, emperor, empress. This is a divine union, guys. Somebody learned something. You are just climbing the ladder here. That's what you're doing. You're ascending. You're stepping up in the world. You are, you're on fire. Capricorn. Male or female. I do know someone's in love with you and I do know they want your forgiveness and if you're not dealing with any past people this is forgiveness for yourself not for others who have hurt you it is learning to have forgiveness so you can heal and ascend and move up the ladder here if you hold on to bitterness it only brings you remorse it brings you depression it brings you sadness well if you choose to forgive like i'm not saying that you need to forgive what the actions people have taken but to find forgiveness so that you can move forward but i do know we're dealing with a twin flame union I do know where div the divine couples are involved here, at least a higher level of soulmate connections. But it's looking like you are giving birth to something that is very, very Wealthy, abundant, prosperous. <laughs> Taking charge, setting boundaries. Opening to your spiritual source. It's just like you get this aha moment, you get this epiphany. <gasps> That's what I was going to do. That's what I got to be doing. And it pays off in a major way. Now there is love here as well. There is abundance here in wealth and, and love.
and whatever went on in the past, just know that you are being protected. You're cherished by the angels. You're cherished by the angels. What what can I say? Stepping into your power, you're strong beyond measure. You're getting blessings that are showering your life. Stay focused. Hold the course. Hold the course for all you navigators out there. Get a higher perspective. Get a view from above. Take this wandering path and enjoy the journey. Navigate by the stars. So even when things are dimly lit, you can still find your way. Choose your path. All is possible. Go deep and explore your roots. Interesting stuff here. Navigate by the stars. Hold on to that star and follow your dream because the star card also appeared for you. You should be in the spotlight. And maybe some of you are latched on to your star and following your star. Navigate by the, the moonlight, the starlight, you know? Hmm. Whatever it is, you're stepping into your power. It's like, delegate. <laughs> Got too much to do, delegate. But you are stepped into your full power, your full strength. And if you haven't yet, you will be. You're very, you can sense, you know, like the owl when there's deception around. You're very wise. You've it's just a journey. Enjoy the ride, Spirit saying. Worry about just follow your follow your bliss. That's what it's telling you. Follow your bliss. Take care.